a public service announcement for all of my ladies out there. This summer, we will not be putting up with unappreciative men in our lives. So I just got this set, and I look <laughs> good as hell. Well, I sent a photo to a man, and his response was, Eat vegetable! Eat broccoli! <laughs> No, we will not be putting up with that. I just blessed you with my beauty. And that's your response? No, you take a fire photo, send it to me, send it to your friends. We will be way more appreciative of it than any cis hat man out there. Know your worth, lady. Oh my god, look at that whale. <laughs> and, uh, oh, we're back. We're back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you're all having an amazing day. We have a lot to get into today. We have a video clip of an anti-anti-mandate protest. I think that's right. You'll see. As well as another clip of a man getting kicked off a plane for the most ridiculous reason. Um, as well as all the rest of the insanity in today's episode of Epic Woke TikTok Fails. TikTok mm. is degenerate trash. Uh, Correct. Everything woke turns to shit, okay? <laughs> oh, ain't that the truth? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for coming back. These people, you can't take them seriously. They want to be taken seriously, but how? This young lady on the screen, for example, I mean, I want to believe that she was on the losing end of a BB gun fight, but I have this feeling in my gut that this was done intentionally. It, like, and not only that, the lovely, the, the the lovely lady we saw in the first clip there. Did you see what it said at the bottom of the screen? And they want to be taken seriously. Check this out, <laughs> ladies. Them's. What does that even mean, ladies? Them's. That doesn't make sense. No, none of it does. So, like I said, it's you can't take these people seriously. Um. And we've also got a pretty cool clip of, it's it's just a kind of a compilation of all the Branch Cove idiots in all their glory. So we'll see that as well. Um, so before we get into it, I just got to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to the sponsors of today's video. We got two sponsors today. First sponsor of today's video is being brought to you by Mark Pizzuto. Mark, thank you so much, sir. I greatly, greatly appreciate the love and support. Thank you keeping this ship afloat as the youtube's overlords are still trying to sink us second sponsor of today's video today's video is also being brought to us by none other than steve harla steve harla super sponsor here at the channel steve thank you so much sir and steve wanted to sponsor this video in kind of dedication to all the members of this amazing community all the members on his channel so I'm going to link, Steve's got his own channel on the YouTube, it's called Steve Harloha. I'm going to link that in the description box below. After you're done watching this video, go check that out. Steve makes some funny short little video clips and subscribe over there. I'm sure Steve would greatly appreciate the love and support. Um, so thank you so much, Steve and Mark. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. You guys are amazing. And if you would like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there's a PayPal link in the description box below. I will say your full name as a sponsor of that video unless stated otherwise by you. I hope you guys are ready. <laughs> Let's get into it. All right, we're going to start it off. Our first two clips are going to be in dedication to Black History Month. I'm sure as most of you already know, February is Black History Month. So, uh... Dedication to Black History Month. Roll the film, please. Black people, black people, colors only. I got a question. So you ever stand in public, right? You stand in public and you see white people. Do you ever get the urge to just, you know, <laughs> you know, like you're minding your business. Like they're kind of minding their business and you just, just to scare them a little bit. 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 Just to give them the feeling like today's the day. Today's the day. That black people start retaliating just to give them a little bit of it the burning feeling inside no just me oh let me know <laughs> that's racism man i love to racism bro that's racist! hey where are the white women at <laughs> wait 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 but according to uh according to people like her uh, black people can't be racist they just can't they can't so none of that was racist. it's nonsense these 
I see so much more of this, this anti, anti-white racist, anti-white hate, whatever you want to call it, um, than I do the other way around. I know they keep saying white, white supremacy, all this, all this nonsense they keep spouting, but this is what I see way more of, so, <sighs> anyway, whatever, uh, happy Black History Month, let's keep it moving. Alright, Black History done right. I think this one has a, uh, song that I'm gonna have to mute out, but, uh, let's, let's roll the film, please. We are always yeah, we're gonna mute that out, okay, uh, whoa, she's got some dude on a leash? I don't... I'm not racist. Every Martin Luther King Day, I order a cup of dark roast. <laughs> I have no idea what any of this has to do with Black History Month, uh, except the guy's just a super simp. Um, sure, let's keep it moving. All right, next up, let's check out some uh, teacher features. We have our first teacher feature here. Um, this person has been in a couple other clips. Um, I think most would call this grooming. You be the judge. Roll the film, please. The goal of the transition closet is for our students to be able to wear the clothes that their parents approve of, come to school, and then swap out into the clothes that fit who they truly are. And I use the idea that this is like Superman changing in a phone booth. But that idea actually goes a lot further than that, because Superman isn't Clark Kent. Clark Kent is actually the disguise. And when Clark Kent goes into the phone booth, he transforms into Superman, who's really just who he truly is, Kal-El. And so this gives our trans students the opportunity to be the superheroes that we know they are. Don't you get wacky on me. What the fuck are we talking about here? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So this sicko has a, has a little, what's he call it, a transition closet? So he's got a little secret closet in the classroom, so when kids come in and they wear what the parents think they're wearing for the day when they leave the house, he gets them in the classroom, gets them in the little secret closet to hide them from what Hide from the parents what they're going to be wearing the rest of the day. And then at the end of the day, get them back into the little secret closet. Is that, is that what's going on here? Because uh, that seems all the way wrong. All the way wrong. Um, said it a million times. Get your children out of public schools. These people are evil. They're... Right, I know, easier said than done. Keep it moving. All right, so next up, our next teacher feature of the day. This... This is unbelievable. It says, that awkward moment when teachers realize they do have to answer to parents. So listen to her response to this. These people, they think they're in control of your children. And this is exactly what she thinks about parents. Check this out. Roll the film, please. So I see how you think that you've done something here because parents or community members have voiced concern to their elected official, which is how that process works. Um, not, not bringing it to a teacher, right? They're taking it to the elected official. Um, and now that, uh, legislators are, are trying to implement these things. Um, but still, in fact, a parent, not my boss. I don't, I don't actually answer to them. So get bent. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> like I said on the last clip, these people are evil. This little condescending snicker that she had. She tells the parents, get bent. Like, these are the ones that, <sighs> moving right along. All right, next up, this video has nothing to do with the wacky world or the woke or anything, anything like that. It's just, I want to give you guys a quick public, public service announcement. This may uh, save someone's life, may help you out in the, in the future if you happen to come across a grizzly bear. Well, it's not, not actually going to save your life, but, um, most likely are going to die. So if you come across a grizzly bear, don't bother running. Um, I guess play dead? That's not going to work. Uh, hopefully you have some kind of elephant gun or something. I'm going to take it down. Check this out. Roll the film. So there's no sound to it, so... Look at how fast that grizzly bear is running. There's, there's nothing. If that, if that thing's chasing you, there's just zero you can do. Nothing. Look at that. That is 
awesome. <laughs> I know that had nothing to do with uh, anything that we do here, but you guys know sometimes when I find some funny or really cool clips like this, I like to throw I like to throw them in there. I thought this was really cool, and I thought some of you guys might might enjoy seeing that. That's just crazy! Wow, I just love animals. I love like I just think that's look at that. How can you not think that's super cool? Let's I'll shut up. Keep it moving. This next one is this was what I was talking about. This is pure insanity. This is this is insane. Um. It says, Allegiant Airlines today, you can't have Let's Go Brandon on your mask or you will be removed. So check this out. This guy's got a regular blue mask on. I didn't know what was going on when I first saw it. Apparently, he wrote it on pen, Let's Go Brandon, a little on his regular mask. He, get, he literally gets kicked off the flight for that. Roll the film. <laughs> All right, it's hard to hear. So she said, can I ask you to remove your mask, please? And he said, can I ask why? And she said, because of a comment you've written on there. So I'm going to ask you to put a different mask on or I'm going to have to ask you to put a different mask on. So it's not a violation of my rights. It's, it's, this is an FAA regulation. I'm asking you to All right, so she just said she's going to ask him to put on a different mask or she's going to have to remove him from the flight. And he, he asked why, and she said, that's an FAA regulation that you can't have that written on your mask. That's an FAA regulation? That's a damn lie, and you know it! All right, guys, so it's really hard to hear it, but she she's kicking him off. He's got a regular mask just like her. It says, let's go Brandon on it. Let, that's all it says, let's go Brandon. It doesn't have any swear words, any uh, anything explicit and appropriate. It just says, let's go Brandon. And she's kicking him off the flight. And the people filming it are saying, well, you know, he's he, this isn't the place, time and place to do that. Well, what? Well, I, I don't get it. Why? Like, what did he do wrong? To do what? I mean, I hope this guy sues the pants off of this air, the Legion Airlines. These communists are all cowards. <laughs> this is crazy. This, listen, you, a country can't. But society can't survive like this. Um, if someone has something as so simple as that written on their mask, this lady thinks that she has the power. She's on a power trip. She feels like she has the power to th throw this guy off the flight because she doesn't like what it says. That's not an FAA regulation. I will put money on it. That I, I don't. Like I said, I hope this guy sues the pants off of Legion Airlines. That's the one. That's what you got to start doing when this stuff happens. You got to start hitting these people in the pocketbook and make them realize you're not going to push them around because uh, you don't like what it says on his mask. He could say, oh, my son's name is Brandon or something. <laughs> Whatever. Keep it moving. Now, this next one is. Wait. No, I've said it a million times, but I'm going to say it a million and one. We are watching the collapse of society in front of our eyes. The beauty is we're all here to document it together. This is uh, University of Re uh, Nevada, Reno, I guess. Um, these people, like I said in the beginning, these are the anti-mandate anti protesters. So basically, they're pro-mask mandates, pro-shop mandates. They think we all need to fall in line with uh, the establishment and do what they say. Roll the film. Fuck you. I hate you. Well, I'm going to take this damn mask off. Listen, so they interviewed some of these people, and apparently at University of Nevada, Reno, whatever, um, I think that's what it is, they recently did away with the mask mandates and the shop mandates, and all these people hate that. 
So instead of just getting their shot, putting their masks on, triple, quadruple, 100 masks, 20 boosters, whatever you want to do, they apparently don't think any of that stuff works unless you or I do it. It's like their deodorant's not going to work unless I put some on too. I don't understand any of this nonsense. Um, and I think we all know by now. I know, I know, I know you guys all know because we're all extremely smart here in this community. Um, that this has nothing to do with public health. This has nothing to do with any of that stuff. It has to do with authoritarianism, power, and control. That's it. That's it, period. You guys know it. I know it. And that's why I keep saying that there is a divide in this country that I don't see how it's ever going to be fixed. I don't see how the two sides... I don't see how we're ever going to... All of us are going to be on the same team as these people. I'll gladly have a conversation with them and tell them the facts and the science behind it, but that's not why they're doing this. Um, so let's keep it moving. All right, next up, this is just another example of these people wanting us to, um, be forced to play in their land of make-believe. I don't. Roll the film, please. Says people, I want you to hear the differences between these two possible reactions when somebody tells you that they use they-them pronouns. There's... Thank you for letting me know. I'm not used to those pronouns yet, but I will take the time to learn. And then there's, I'm not used to that yet. You have to be patient with me. The first one is taking responsibility for your own gaps in knowledge. The other one is scolding somebody because you don't know something. And furthermore, this one is a reaction to an assumption of aggression on trans people's end. And you'll never guess where that assumption of aggression comes from. It's fine if you're not an expert on trans people, but that is not trans people's fault. And these kids carry on today, you can't tell boys from girls. I mean, the girls are with slacks, fellas let their hair grow. I was talking to someone here, I said, look at that teenager, what's that, a boy or a girl? He said, that's a boy, that's my son. I said, sure, you knew you're his father. He said, I'm not his father, I'm his mother. All right, listen, we're going to end it with this one. Um, before we do, i got to give a huge, huge shout out once again to the sponsors of, of today's video. Today's video is being brought to us by Mark Pizzuto. Mark, thank you so, so much, sir. Greatly, greatly appreciate all the love and support. Thank you. As well as Steve Harla, the man, the myth, the legend, Steve Harla. Thank you, Steve. And like I said, Steve's YouTube channel, Steve Harloa, will be linked in the description box below if you want to go check that out over there. And Give Steve a subscribe. I'm sure he would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And listen, if you're new to the channel, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. Become a member of the greatest community on the YouTubes. Like I said before, we're documenting the the fall of society. We're all here to uh, enjoy it together, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Uh, we might as well enjoy it. Um, all right, so... Uh, I don't even know what to say anymore. Um, all right, so this is a compilation. This is a great compilation of the Branch Cove idiots. It's not a cult. It's not. It's definitely not a cult. And they do not worship at the altar of St. Anthony Fauci. Not at all. And they, you know, they don't bow down to Pfizer and Moderna. Nope, not even a little bit. So a lot of these clips we've seen in a lot of these videos. So this is pretty cool. Someone on Twitter put it together. Roll it. And I think it's got music, so I might have to mute it. Yeah, I think it's a uh, copyrighted song, so I'll mute it. So, yeah, they just disinfected the people. <laughs> we haven't seen that one yet here. Yep, pull the mask up. Pull the mask down. And these people all distance in the... Oh, it's a concert. Yep, go hug Grandma and Grandpa with your full biohazard suit on your eight. Makes sense. They got them corralled in little fences like sheep. And this is the crazy lady that's trying to mask up her dog. I wish the dog bit her. Um, yoga class outside in some kind of biodome. This guy's just a dork. Um, all right, these guys looks like they're trying to suffocate themselves with plastic baggies on their head. These little kids are dressed up like needles that say Pfizer Moderna on them. Mm, big Pharma shills. This guy's got a whole box of masks stuck on his face. Idiot. This guy's disinfecting his coffee. I hope he gets it right inside the coffee and it gives him the runs. Um, got some kind of space aliens here. This genius is swimming in a pool with no one around her with a face diaper on. Sure. This guy. He, oh, yeah, yeah. He's got the little thing and it opens up and eats it. Smart. Yep. Yeah, grandma and grandpa want a hug. 
I'm gonna wrap them in plastic first. <laughs> I hate when they do that to the kids. Yeah, another dog. <laughs> Animal abuse. Um, I know. What are you doing? What are you doing? Guy's got a. That's a water bottle he's got on his head. That's a water bottle. Oh. Yeah, and these people got shower curtains wrapped up, wrapped up their kids in shower curtains. Riding a mask. Uh, whoa. Are they. Oh no, they got body suits on, right? Um, little kid in a. Oh no. What the hell is going on? I mean, what the hell is going on? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'll tell you a couple things. Uh, th th all right, what's happened in the past four or five years that broke people? They people have their brains have broken. Uh, Donald Trump getting elected in 2016 that just about almost broke all these people. Then when the China AIDS hit, that just fully broke all of them fully broke them um and it's generally the same people that trump being elected broke now with the coup that with the china aids it broke it just fully broke the rest of them and you know it's clear for all of us to see now if you want to take precautions cool that's fine um but this is nonsense what we just saw uh the branch COVID idiots anyway so this is a hall this is a college dormitory this is in the hall <laughs> Uh, in celebration of Black History Month. So they got the Black Lives Matter uh, sign up there in the dormitory hall. Um, now, I'm sure if somebody had this on their mask on that Allegiant flight, there would be no issue. All right, so Black Lives Matter. And then they got another picture of... That's just the communist fist there. Um, but instead of red, they put it that. And lastly... I will read it for our blind subscribers and everybody sitting way in the back. It says, use your white privilege to end your white privilege. Black lives matter. Anyway, that's a wrap. Thank you so much, you guys. I love you all. Things are getting crazy. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Love you guys. Peace.